Well, welcome to another long division uh, tutorial. This program is going to be focused on the traditional method for solving long division problems. Our first example here is going to be 58 divided by 4. Lily says hello to all of you listening on the internet. Our first step in solving long division is this. How many 4's are in 5? Well, there's one 4 in 5, so I'm going to write the number 1 right here above this 5. And then I'm going to do 1 times 4 equals 4. Now when we subtract this, 5 minus 4 gives us 1. Our next step is to slide down this 8, and it's going to give us 18. And we need to repeat the same process that we did up here, but now we're doing with this 18. How many 4's are in 18? Well, this is where you're really going to have to know your multiplication facts. If you know that 4 times 4 equals 16, well, then you're in great shape. But if you don't have your four facts memorized and you don't know your multiples of four, it's going to be really helpful to have a multiplication chart next to you so that you can help yourself find the correct answer. Again, how many fours are in 18? Well, we know that four times four is 16. So I'm going to write a four above the eight and then multiply four times four equals 16. Now we subtract. 18 minus 16 is 2, and our final answer is going to be 14 with a remainder of 2. And the reason why we have a remainder of 2 is because this 4, there are no 4s in 2. We only have 2. We would need 2 more to have a complete 4, so this is left over. This is a remainder. Let's take a look at one more example. Let's do 65 divided by... 3. The first step is to look at the 3 and say how many 3's are in 6. There are two 3's in 6. So we will do 2 times 3 equals 6 and we will subtract that from above. 6 minus 6 is 0 and then we need to bring down our 5. When we do that we ask ourselves basically the same process or the same question that we asked up here in the beginning with how many 3's were in 6. Now we're going to ask ourselves, how many 3's are in this 5? Well, there's only 1. 1 times 3 is 3, and then we're going to subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. How many 3's are in 2? There aren't any 3's in 2, so this is going to be our remainder. Our final answer is going to be 21 with a remainder of 2. And if you don't practice with the light pen, you get sloppy results like that. So this was a kind of quick tutorial for the students primarily who are learning the traditional long division method. Um, really the best thing you can do to help yourself with the traditional method is to make certain that you practice your multiplication facts. Um, one thing you can do at home is to do multiplication.com. There are a ton of free flash games to play there. Or you can go to www.mathfactcafe.com and they have a, and a whole other series of multiplication games that you can play on that site. Good luck, keep practicing, and of course email if you need help or send a note or catch up with me tomorrow morning at school.